Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, um, I want to come with a very, very powerful, open, I'm going to call it an open vision. Not very often I get these open visions, brothers and sisters, but when they come open, not that the other visions are not truth or anything like that it is but i believe that there's a difference between visions when you're sleeping when you're some sleeping and when you are wide awake i believe that when you get a vision or a trance when you're wide awake when you're when you when you are aware of your surrounding yet the lord brings a vision to you please take that vision seriously and i've and i've noticed this over the years when the lord trained me in the prophetic now on the 13th of August 2021, brothers and sisters, the Lord gave me a very powerful vision concerning New York. Now, it's been a long time I haven't spoken about New York. I did a video about a week or so ago concerning New York, um, what's going on over there in new york with you know what and the restriction and you can't do this you can't do this unless you get new you, you the you know what but it's more to it than that new york is very very active in the realm of the spirit and what's going on over there the most high yeah i can tell you that the most high yeah is not pleased he is not pleased with the guidelines, the protocol, the wicked decision makings and all of that against his people. And so you, New York is active in the realm of the spirit. And the reason why I know that for me as a prophetess, when something is very active, I always pick it up in the spirit and I pick up New York in the realm of the spirit. Now, just before I go into the vision concerning New York. So on the 13th of August, 2021, I, I just came out of, of, out of a vision. It's not, this is nothing to do with New York, but I want to set the scene to show you how the Lord works. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I just want to set the scene. So on the 13th of August, 2021, I woke from sleep. And when I woke up from my sleep and everything like that, I came out of a vision. I knew how the Lord gave me a very, very powerful personal vision. All right. Personal vision, so to speak. And um, so I got up and I went to use the bathroom and I came back to bed. But I wasn't sleeping because it was about 8, 830 in the morning. So or so, and I just didn't want to sleep. But I began to speak to the Lord concerning the disturbing vision that he gave me. Because in natural fact, the vision is about two of my family members who literally hates me. And they're trying to hurt me. And one of them was driving, well, they weren't driving a car, but they were sitting in a car. And, and they let out some animal, some form of animal and me to try to chase me down. So anyways, brothers and sisters, when I came out the vision, I was really disturbed. I'm not going to lie. And I said to the Mosa, yeah, I said, Father, why were these two people trying to hurt me? Why? What is it? Why is it that they do not like me? And as I began to speak to the Most High concerning my um, concerns of this vision that he gave me, brothers and sisters, you would believe that, yeah, would begin to answer my questions concerning my personal vision he didn't as i was there brothers and sisters waiting for an answer from the most high my eyes wide open talking to god looking directly in my bathroom because my bath bathroom is in front of me and um, all of a sudden brothers and sisters i didn't see my bathroom anymore i literally saw new york in front of me like my bathroom was literally New York eyes wide open not sleeping still aware of my surroundings and in this uh, open vision <clears throat> brothers and sisters as I was looking at New York I found myself uh, remember everything is taking place in my bathroom okay um, I found myself in a cafe I know the American call it cafe so to speak um, but I found myself in a cafe in New York and I was with somebody but I, don't, I think this person was an angel it was a guy but he was sitting opposite me and we were talking 
Listen to this very carefully, brothers and sisters. We were talking, can't remember what we were talking about. And I remember I looked through the glass window, all right, because everything was just glass in this cafe, around this cafe. I look through the glass window like I'm looking up the street, but the most high yeah gave me bird eyes view. It was bird eyes view the Lord gave me because I could pick up everything. Brothers and sisters, as I looked through the window and the most high yeah brought my eyes to the scene of what I saw. I saw a silver car parked up and i remember i saw two people in the car two black people brothers and sisters watch this two black people these were black men one was in the passenger seat at the back and one was the driver could very well be a cab i don't know all right I heard when the driver, I'm going to say the driver because they could be related. I don't know, brothers and sisters. When I heard when the driver said to the guy in the back seat, I will be back soon. It's like he left to go and buy something because he went to another corner shop. Um, and the shop looked like it sell cakes and donuts and coffee and all of that. So it looked like he came out the car to go buy something for both of them. Brothers and sisters, as my eyes was watching this driver guy go into the cafe, my eyes, my eyes then went back into the car. When I went back into the car with my spiritual eyes, my bird view eyes, brothers and sisters, the guy that was in the back seat He was half eaten. I saw three people. Don't know where they came from because this was so quick. This was so quick. I saw three people, brothers and sisters, in the back seat, feeding. Feeding, oh God, on this young man, brothers and sisters. Two white ladies and a white guy. And when I look at this, at the, at the, um, <clears throat> at the car, the silver, because it was silver car, the two back doors flung open. They weren't open before. They weren't open before, brothers and sisters, because all the doors were shut. Even when the guy, the driver guy, went to go get his coffee and biscuit or whatever, the doors were shut. But the two back doors flung open, and these three Caucasian people brothers and sisters were feeding were feeding on this guy in the back of the car and when the, the the lord didn't hide anything from me i could see his ribs he was eaten out they were eating him as if you were tearing off um what you call it what's that is it is it candy that melts in your mouth you know you can just rip the candy the strength of these people and it's like they couldn't see me, these three sleepers, I call them sleepers now, okay? They couldn't see me, but I could see them. Brothers and sisters, as they were feeding, three of them were feeding on this black guy, they looked up as if they were looking at me, but they couldn't see me because I was still in the shop. <laughs> I was still in the shop, but it's the birds, it's the birds view eyes the spiritual eyes that yeah gave me so i could see what was going on mind you all this is going on in my bathroom i'm right on the bed looking in front of me at this happening brothers and sisters and i remember as i was feeding on this guy he was dead because when i looked he was just lifeless he was just lying there well sitting up in the back seat half eaten by these three people Brothers and sisters, these three sleepers, I call them sleepers now, these three sleepers kind of looked up like the stop feeding on the guy just for a split second. I think this is the Lord allow me to see this. So the stop feeding, the three of them all at the same time, just stop feeding, looked up as if they were looking at me. 
and their eyes. All, all I can describe it, all I can describe their eyes is like, it's just the white you could see. You could see a little bit of black, but the, but, but the white, the cornea, not like you can see my white, the cornea, the white bit of the eye. The white bit of the eye was like jelly. I can't describe it as much, you know, I'm trying to describe it how they look as if something all right you know when someone have really 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 bad cataract on their eyes go go google it go google cataract that that's how i'm going to describe it yeah yeah let's describe it like that google cataract look at some images of really bad cataract this was worse than cataracts anyway cataract anyway but it, it was almost as if the black and the white just melted together. Brothers and sisters, these people, I don't, well, I'm telling you, sleepers feeding on the guy, literally feeding. When I saw that, brothers and sisters, I then saw the driver, <coughs> let's call him, sorry, let's call him the driver, the driver of the um of the of the silver car, he was coming back and in his hand, I was correct. In his hand he had like coffee trays and biscuit and stuff like that. And it's like he was oblivious, didn't know what was going on. Nobody knew what was going on, brothers and sisters. Because in my spirit, I was looking and people just it's like what was happening? It, it was so fast in my spirit that people weren't picking up. But but the will, just bear with me. Bear with me, brothers and sisters, because the Lord is showing me something. So this guy with the coffee and the biscuit and all of that, still a bit oblivious, smiling and everything. He didn't recognize that the back door was open. The two back door of his car was open. He didn't know. Or maybe he knew, but he just thought that he, maybe his friend just came out. But he, he didn't, he didn't no notice. Brothers and sisters, he opened up. The side of his car door, the driver's side of the car, went in, put his coffee on the passenger seat, right? Begin to talk to his friend, looked round and saw the three feeders eating on his friend. Right there, brothers and sisters, the Lord didn't show me anything else. All I knew, I was back. With my eyes, I said my eyes were back then, my eyes were back in the cafe, still in New York. All of a sudden, I heard ching-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling, ching it so loud. So I began to look around. This is when the people began to wake up. This is when the New Yorkers, let's call them New Yorkers, yeah? This is when the New Yorkers began to walk up and realize, uh-oh, something is wrong. Because they didn't know, they didn't they were walking up and down, didn't realize that the sleepers was eat was feeding, like eating a guy. They didn't even see that. It's only when I heard a chingalingalingaling, chingaling. So I, I was looking out and I was thinking, what is that, brothers and sisters? It was it was falling windows hitting the ground. People realized what was going on and began to panic. And the sound, the scream, because now they realize that there's something happening and that, that, that now that they, they, they now begin to see that the, the 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 sleepers were eating people feeding they begun to see it now because they couldn't see it but it's the noise that woke, woke up the new yorkers because they were they were just oblivious didn't know what was going on but when the windows began to fall out, because you see the panicking start, because people were trying to get away from these sleepers, because what I think happened in my spirit when I hear the chingalingaling, which are the falling windows, in my spirit, I get the impression, the Lord didn't show me this, but in my spirit, as I sat in the cafe in New York, watching everything going on, as the windows begin to break, People are just probably just, you know, jumping through just to get away, whether it's them or the sleepers. I don't know. But I believe that what happened 
but that split second what the lord impressed in my spirit is that people would be working normal like you'll be in your office with your colleague everything is fine and then all of a sudden these people just start to act weird i think that what i think that's what went on while the windows began to break because like i said this is what woke up new york because the window was just falling the ching that it was so loud and i could actually see the windows falling and then uh the vision <laughs> my bathroom brothers and sisters i got my bathroom back i was looking at my bathroom because the vision just went just like that just like that the vision just went away and I said to the Most High, yeah, I said, I said, I said, Lord, I said, honestly, you're just, nobody can twist your arms. Nobody can tell you what to do. The reason why I say that is because I was asking the Lord about my personal vision with family members hating me. And he didn't answer me. He showed me something that is going to happen completely why did the lord show me that because i was speaking to him i was in tune with him he was hearing what i was saying he knew my concerns and because i was so in tune with the spirit of the most high yeah he bought that vision very powerful vision it's not all the time i get open vision like that brothers and sisters i can count how many times i had open vision and it's one with kanye west when my, kanye west and donald trump being assassinated open vision those are the two more I got I got more don't get me wrong no and 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 Pew and Putin um, attacking America open vision in my bathroom again bathroom disappeared <laughs> and I saw Putin around a table I had a vision the vision is there somewhere on my YouTube so I can count how many times on my hand I have those powerful, powerful open vision. Like I say, Kanye West becoming a Christian. Don't be saying, oh, Sister Kerry is not a Christian. Now, I'm not debating that. He still needs Christ. He's carrying on silly. But anyway, he will. He will become. He will. All right. Um, Kanye West, Putin and, and China planning together to attack America. Open vision with that one. And then the Donald Trump assassinated. Open vision again with that one. And then um, on 13th, very powerful open vision with the, 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 the sleepers event that's going to take place in New York. New York, New York is very, like I say, New York is very, very... Um, they're very active. There's some wickedness that's going on in New York and Yah is not pleased. He's not pleased. So be on your pews, be on your guards, brothers and sisters, especially if you, if you live in New York because the sleepers are coming. This is no ifs, buts, or maybe. This thing is coming. People will change. They're going to change, brothers and sisters. And all of us um, watch men and watch women on the wall for the Lord who have been sounding the alarm and saying, look, some of our loved ones, some of our families, some of our friends, you know, they're going to hack weird. They're going to start to turn into something that you think, oh my days, this is out of the movies. It is going to happen in front of your eyes. The vision is truth. And I, I, I thought that, okay, maybe, you know, the Turner's event probably london or i would even think in jamaica but from this vision i believe that the first cases they're going to come out of new york city the vision is true people have to wake up and understand what time it is that things are not the same you only remain the same when you're in christ jesus so I wanted to come and give this very, very powerful, powerful vision. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. 
in Jesus Christ, precious holy name, amen and amen, amen. Let us say the benediction together. I've got my Bible, it's over there, <laughs> but I don't know it out of my head, luckily. If you know how to pay your head, this is a benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. We agree with the servant of the Most High, yeah. We stand with how he expresses how beautiful the majestic power of our uncreated Yah is. And the Bible reads, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.